Oh God, what do I want my intro to be? I mean, we're sitting down to listen to Pop Bible for the second time in a lifetime. That's crazy. But you know what's crazier? The journey to get here. Cause I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. But I have been a clown on when exactly 1989 was going to drop. And then I was a big, big fat honking clown in August because I was under the impression 1989 during the Ares tour was gonna get announced on the last day, but then all these theories started happening that it was gonna happen on the third day of August, and I was like, what? No. But like, some of y'all are convincing. Maybe some of y'all should be politicians. I don't know, I'm just saying. So I had the bright idea to pretty much film my reaction to the last couple shows in August, including my reaction to seeing the album cover for the first time. If you wanna see that, keep watching. If you don't um, and you hate fun, you can go to the album. And if you really, really hate fun and you wanna just see the vault tracks, there's a timestamp for that too. Um, I'm here to serve you. Hi, I'm not a real person. <laughs> I don't know what this energy is. Okay, whatever, bye. I'm at the Ares tour. Yeah, no, there's too much like happening for something not to be announced tonight. And I have the time, I have the patience, so I'm here. I'm ready. I don't know, usually like Swifties have theories and it's like clown o'clock, you know, cause half of them are just like, half of them come to fruition and half of them are like, Okay, girl, maybe like, you need to calm down. Like, sit down. <laughs> Taylor. Full-time professional, rated by One Family Magazine, number one clown, nine straight years. Surprise song o'clock time, yeah. Everyone's saying dress. I knew! It is dress! I knew there was gonna be a rap song! I felt it! Uh, uh, I don't even love this song, but it's fine. <laughs> Good best friend. Okay, this one I was thinking speak now, but now I don't know. I got rep right. I didn't get the song right. I was thinking we were losing a big soldier. Oh no. 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 It is not. Shut the f up. It is not exile. Stop. I thought we were safe. Aaron's not there. Yeah, the joke's not funny, Taylor. F you, respectfully. She has to do new romantics tomorrow. There's no way. I don't even want to know what she's gonna do on the piano. It's gonna hurt. It's not even that serious, but it is. I just have a feeling I'm losing peace or king of my heart. No. Expensive cars and the Range Rovers and the Jaguars. All I want, dear all I have been waiting for, king of my heart. Ah, oh, the lag. You know, I don't even care. Nobody gets this song like I get this song. Why would she do this without me? Every outfit has been blue. We're getting it tonight. Amber, do you have predictions on what the surprise songs are going to be? Okay, well, first of all, peace, because I hope your mental gets destroyed. That is so rude. I lost clean twice. I lost so did I! <laughs> but I think she's going to do New Romantics, maybe New Year's Day. <gasps> she's in a blue dress. Oh my God. She's in a blue dress. Oh Come on, girl, we know. Last time that I was so
Exactly. I, I literally hate her. Like, let me turn in my stamp card right now. Oh my god, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, ah! October 27th! October 27th! She looks so pretty! Wait, the guy's saying it's the anniversary day of when it was released. Is he joking? Cause that, that just gave me chills. She looks so happy! I could cry! Why am I gonna cry? Oh my god, I have chills! Wow. Oh god, she's on the piano. This is never good for me. <gasps> it's New Year's Day! I literally told you it was gonna be New Year's Day, Amber! She's in 1989 and rap multiple nights in a row. I don't know, but we're gonna get started with Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you, girly. Oh, hi, girl. Let me turn this shit up. Hold on. Okay. The scents are a little stronger. The scents are synthing. Got it. Imagine seeing this live on tour. Oh, that's right. I did. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. I love the ad libs on this album. I love the harmonies. I love the lower register. I need that to continue throughout the songs. Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Oh, the harmonies are cleaner. It's not as high though. Interesting. And you can want who you want. Boys and boys and girls and girls. She threw the first brick at Stonewall. I will have to say though, I went to New York. I've talked about this so many times. Y'all are like, yeah, we know, we got it. You went, you were there. It is kind of a magical place. And being in the bus, cause I was like on a little tour thing, being in the bus and listening to this and seeing like the buildings and the trees and everything pass, I was like, Damn, I'm the main character right now in a movie. Like this is this is a soundtrack. The lights are so bright, but they never die. Welcome to New York. Okay! Fine, cute. But we're going to blank space. Sydney! <laughs> you guys, should I edit this video like that? to her documentary I still have not watched that whole thing because I don't think I can I've seen bits and parts of it I remember when it first came out I couldn't watch it because I think it was on like Apple was it Apple one at the time whatever it was but I was like girl I'm poor <coughs> not watching it but cute love that for you so every time I've seen a clip from it I'm just like who was editing it who did that <laughs> This song's so good, dude. What the hell? Look at that face. You look like my next mistake. Love's a game. Wanna play? The confidence in her voice is crazy to hear. It's crazy to hear with all the re-recordings, especially Fearless. But you even hear it in this one, which is crazy because it wasn't that long ago. I got a blank space, baby. And I'll write your name. Honestly, her saying, they'll tell you that I'm insane, you are insane. As a fan, you're literally deranged. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Screaming, crying, perfect storms. I can make all the tables turn. You come back each time you leave. Cause I'm a nightmare, nightmare dressed, dressed like a daydream. And Instagram was never the same. I will say though, as I've gotten older, Blank space has become so reputation coded to me because when I think of reputation the first half of it It is so just like I'm gonna play into what my reputation is of this like crazy girl blank space really was the pioneer for that Oh, oh, oh the harmony Don't say I didn't say I didn't war Don't say I didn't say I didn't warn ya you can really hear it in the live performance, and ever since then, that's how I sing that bridge. I can only do the harmony now. It's so good. It's so good. But I got a blank, blank space, space, baby. And, and I'll, I'll write your name. name. So good. Okay, Miss Style. This is one of the songs that I'm like, oh, 
for the love of God. Because this song is literally pop perfection. There is not a single thing wrong with it. It is just so good. It is a perfect song. Oh, this part's a little different. I'm not mad at it though, it sounds really full. This girl is up midnight, 2 a.m. Girl, what is your bedtime? When do you sleep? Fade in the view. Oh, Ooh, that's a different note. Fade into view. What did you guys think that lyric was? Because for years, I was like, fake interview. No. But in my head, I was like, yeah, fake interview. The cute little, hi, how are you? Oh, your life's great. That's awesome when really it's like falling apart. I really hope I'm not the only one. Even if it's not the same lyric, as what I thought it was, please tell me what you thought it was. Or have you known since the beginning because you're like, girl, I get the booklet and I read the lyrics. Good for you. Good for you. Can't relate. I didn't learn how to read, so. <laughs> should just tell you to leave because I oh. know exactly where it leads, but I watch us go round and round each time. It's still a bop though. It's still a bop. I'm sorry. And I got that good girl face and a tight little skirt. And we never go out of style. We never go out of style. So this one is actually, I feel like I can notice the most difference in this one, but I actually like it. I said it feels very full, but I do see a pattern of it just like not being as high, which luckily for me doesn't really bother me. I'm like as long as it sounds good. That's all I really care about. I'm <laughs> like, as long as I can still shake my ass to it, eh, I'm fine. But I can see a lot of people having a problem with this one. I say I heard. Oh, we don't get the voice cracks though. I love the voice cracks in the original. It's so good. Let me hear this take me home. Let me hear this take me home. Hold on. I can see that being a problem for so many people. When you have such a beloved album, it's so hard to recreate that magic. Especially like as she's recording it, you know, there's feelings that are new, just going through different experiences. There's like a hunger. Here it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like that essence is still there, but it doesn't feel as magical, I think, as the original. But that's okay because we've had these songs. We've experienced them. And honestly, some of that magic probably does come from nostalgia. Some of it probably does come from where you were when you listened to this album for the first time. I remember so vividly going to Target, buying this album with one of my friends at the time and listening to it in their car, like repeatedly nonstop. So I don't know, I think that's something to think about as we continue our listening experience as you listen to it on your own. <laughs> Those O's are stronger. Looking at it now. What was that sound? And I remember thinking, I'm noticing the production feels so much fuller in a lot of these songs. And honestly, it makes me really excited for Reputation. Baby, like we stood a chance. Two paper airplanes flying, flying, flying. And I remember thinking, well, I remember. That picture where she was wearing his necklace for the first time etched in my mind. I was speechless. I was like, that is Harold's necklace. I was re-entering the Taylor fandom. I was in the 1D fandom and seeing that, I was like, in a hospital room and he went to the party with that f***ing bandage but the monsters turned out to be just streets when the sun came up you look at it that was another one i could hear the harmonies way better that's crazy listen though i just have to say this because 
you know, not to make it the whole point of a re-recording, right? Not to take away her contribution to her own music and the music industry itself. Knowing where some of these songs are inspired from, we can sit here and debate and be like, oh, these men suck. Harry Styles, ha ha Harry Styles, the man that you are. <laughs> I know you up a couple times. Don't get me wrong. I've listened to the music. I know the lore. I was there, girl. I was emotionally scarred. When I saw that photo of her on the boat, I remember exactly where I was. I was at a party. I was checking Tumblr because I was bored. And that was everywhere. It was the same thing. It was the same feeling as New Year's Eve, checking Twitter, and that f***ing picture of them kissing being everywhere. But anyway, can we all take a second and thank Mr. Harry Styles for these songs that we did get? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And honestly, in return, Taylor, thank you for the songs that he has written about you. Because girl, there's a lot. There's a couple. Let us actually move into track number five, the famous track number five, All I Heard You Was Stay. I will be the first to say, and maybe this is, this is a big statement. I think this is like one of her weakest track fives. That might just be me though, that feels this way. And that's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see if that stay is so high. Oh, that sounds exactly the same. That's crazy. Her lower register elevates this song. Whoa, this one's elevated. Oh, she wants, she wants to. A fighting chance on the ranking. Okay. Okay. What you it's such a simple bridge. Like she has way more <laughs> complex and probably better bridges. But for some reason, her just being like, let me remind you, this is what you wanted. You did this. I don't know. I just love that sentiment. Like, yes, yeah, stand your ground. Stand your ground, bitch. I mean, is she wrong? No, ma'am. Going into Shake It Off. God damn this song. Speaking of having a life of its own, the chokehold this song had on America, you would have thought it was the national anthem. And honestly, I will say, I think as the years have gone on, and especially working in retail during the time this project was released, I have such a like, love-hate relationship with this song, but being at the air store and seeing it live, I'm sitting there doing the claps, everything, bitch. I was like, yeah, shake it off, Stan, right here. No, but like, yes, for those, however long that song is performed for, I'ma shake it off, Stan, and don't you forget it. I go on too many days. <laughs> I, kinda, kinda reputation coded, right? Like we're acknowledging it. I don't know if you can hear it without headphones, but there's a really particular sound in here that's like making my my spine crawl. It's like a like a tick, like a little tick sound. Ugh, I feel it in my neck. I feel like my bone is cracking or something. Is it only that verse? That's All right, I wish you would. Now, it's so funny looking at this um song title because when I see the phrase I wish you would it comes off so aggressive to me now because I see the type the phrase I wish you would and it's like I wish you would I wish you would and this song is not really like that but in my mind I'm like okay so we're fighting like we're boxing this is another one where I'm like she's cute but I like other songs better what time is it Taylor when does she sleep? I'm begging for an answer. I wish you would come back. Wish I never hung up the phone like I did. I always knew how to push my buttons. And you give me everything. And that's right now, it's all good. I wish you would. I wish you would come back. Wish I never hung up the Okay, bad blood I feel like is gonna be elevated. You made a really deep cut. She wasn't doing anything. What's that? <laughs> 
that moment's not funny, but her like still trying to sing while do that is hilarious. We're gonna see how it transitions back into the verse. Did you think it's more seamless! I feel like in the old one, it was so just like, here's the big chorus, here's the little verse. I like that transition change. I like it. Time can heal, but this won't. So if you're coming my way, just don't. What's the dance she does during the tour? Where she's like... <laughs> they see me like voluntarily doing it. I love it. Live with gold. You forgive, you forget, but you never let it. Go. Me doing that the first night and no one knowing what I was talking about, embarrassing. For them, not for me. The confidence in me melts! Come on, Taylor! I don't know why I love that move so much. So good. That, that for sure is like the best one so far. Wow. All right, so now we are going into Wildest Dreams. Oh, Miss Wildest Dreams, you will forever be an icon in my book. I think Wildest Dreams actually got released before this came out, but I don't think I listened to it. This Love I think did as well uh, because of The Summer I Turned Party, which honestly, how does this show, this little show on Amazon get all these exclusive like Taylor shit? Do you guys like that show? Let me know if I should watch it because I tried reading the first book forever and a day ago and I just could not get into it at all. So maybe the show's different. I don't know, let me know. Cause I know there's like a whole thing where it's like, are you team Jeremiah or team Conrad? But from what I've seen, I think she can do better. I haven't seen much, but I feel like it's enough. <laughs> the fact she used her heartbeat. Who does that? Like we say they put their heart and soul into a song. She literally did that. Psychopath. Heaven can't help me now. Nothing. She's kind of sexier, no? has my stamp of approval. I need to hear that bridge though. That bridge birthed so many pop stars. I don't want to talk about it, but I could. I just don't want to. And his voice is a familiar sound. She did fix that part. I did not like that part in the original. His voice is a familiar sound. Like it was so, I don't know. I didn't like it. It is. Say you'll remember me. I could cry. I could literally cry right now. I love this song. It's so good. That bridge. I hope when she originally was writing this, I hope she was in the studio. Just like, I really am doing this. <laughs> I was just in the studio and I was writing some shit. And it was just so deep, like, why am I such a good writer? How you get the girl. This song is so interesting to me because I don't care for the verses at all. I get the concept of like more storytelling, but I don't know, I feel like with Taylor, she has so many good storytelling techniques that the verses just kind of fall a little flat for me. But that chorus, that chorus invented pop music. I'm just gonna put that out there. Sue me. This chorus! Ah! And that's how it works. That's how you get the 
I'm scared. I feel sorry for you. This needs to be in a rom-com. Like, immediately. The fact that it's not in a rom-com yet. Jail. Jail. So we're moving on to this love. I know this is a fan favorite. Hear me out, hear me out. She's cute, but is she you are in love? No. And I don't mean to compare two girlies because there's room for everyone, but you are in love, this love. I think Miss New York said it best. When cute is standing next to gorgeous, gorgeous is going to devour Q. Let me hear it though with these new vocals, cause it might change. I might hear something that I just haven't heard before. Just gone and gone, gone and gone. In so crisp. Mm. This love is good, this love is bad, this love is a light back from the day. Oh, oh. Ooh, I like the traveling from one ear to the other. Okay, production. You got me. Baby, I could go on, 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 on. Okay, there's a cute little buildup, which I feel like the original was kind of missing. I actually think I like this better than the original. Wow. There's like a certain maturity to this song that I think the original was kind of lacking. I'm gonna have to sit with this. Cause now I'm like... See, but once we get to You Are In Love... Yeah. We are going into I Know Places. So, when it comes to this song, the chokehold this song had on me when it first came out was... I was like 17, 18 when the... I was just turning 18 cause it came out in October. My birthday's in November, November 5th. <laughs> Say happy birthday to me. I don't know what it was about this song. That's crazy. I was 17 gonna be 18 and I'm 26 gonna be 27 and she was 25 when she made this album what am I doing anyway I feel like if this song came out now I don't know if I would like it as much as I do or as I did but because I have that like nostalgic feeling with it I adore this song I think it's so fun. And it just makes sense for like her dating style. I mean, especially when she was with Joe. We didn't see shit. We <laughs> like, Taylor, are you alive? Just send out a signal. I'm actually curious to see though where this is gonna be elevated because I feel like, again, maybe it's just the original project. The transitions from the verses to the chorus were so just like, here's the verse sound, here's the chorus. So far I've been hearing such a like smoother, transition and I really like that. I think this one's gonna benefit a lot from that. Ooh, I like that. I need to hear the, and we run! Everybody finds out. See yeah, we know. God, the amount of content we've gotten with her and Travis. I, I mean, I think they're cute. Happy for her, she looks happy, but damn. Do I care that much? No. about I don't know if I would like it if it was released now that's a lie <laughs> I was just silly goofy when I said that because it's just so good it's so good it's my love. They are the that's an improvement from the old one and we run! Yes! I love her squeak. Get off me. Get off me, I love her squeak. This sounds so much better. It's so much more seamless. Wow. Oh, I love it. 
10 out of 10. 10 out of f***ing 10, my dude. But we're moving on to clean and let me tell you something about miss clean she is that girl don't get it wrong don't get it twisted but i think i like clean better just as a stripped back song hearing it for the first time in the album i was like oh she's cute yeah i like her i can see like why this would be a favorite and then when i saw it performed like just on the piano i was like oh now i get it it's just such a good like just piano listen to the lyric kind of song that could just be me I don't know. What is this techno beat? What the f Like I said, I think I'm just a piano girl when it comes to this song. I just want the piano. The drought was the very worst. You know what the worst part was? Listening to a live stream and just hearing the drought was the very worst. Let me just drop dead. Got it. I think Taylor knew going into this re-recording, she had to put basically her whole into this song because the life that this song <laughs> has created for itself is insane. And it's crazy that her writing the song for whatever experience she was going through at the time has transpired into so many different things for so many different people going through breakups of their own or going through self-harm or going whatever it may be. It's just so crazy and it's inspiring because that's what music should do. That's what good songwriting should do. It's so good. <laughs> the fact that she didn't just put this on the set list. Listen, let's listen before you boo. Hold on. When it comes to Miss Wonderland, this might be homophobic to say, but she's very much so a deluxe track for me. I get it, but I see why she didn't make the standard album, especially in the company of You Are In Love and New Romantics. Like those two. Wow. And then you have Miss Wonderland. I don't really have any strong feelings toward this re-recording. I mean, if it's better, that's cool. Like I do like it. I don't want you guys to think I don't like it, but I don't like it as much as a lot of you guys do. That is for damn sure. I want this part to be more stagnant. Didn't they tell us don't rush into things? Didn't you flash your green eyes at me? Haven't you heard what become of your arms twisting around me? With a little attitude on twisting. Found Wonderland, you and I got lost in it, and it's but never, never better. better. Am I about to eat my words? In Wonderland. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Forgive me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did not say anything against her. That wasn't me, stop the tape. I actually like this a lot more than the original. That's crazy. I think it's also how she sings it. I think it just sits better on my ears. I'm just listening. I'm enjoying. Oh my god. And okay. You know what? I like. I like being proven wrong once in a while. It's humbling because usually I'm always right. <laughs> Y'all looking at me saying that, being like, I've seen your ranking. Right where? I wonder then, because I haven't seen anything on Twitter. I knew the second this was coming out at nine o'clock, I was like, my ass is off the internet. So the people who do love this song so much, I wonder how you guys feel, because there is a little bit of a maturity in it. I like it. Speaking of maturity, speaking of just wise beyond her years, you are in love. This song, to me, is what being in love is about. It's that second verse and a specific line. And when we get there, you'll know, because I'm going to start crying. <sighs> If I wasn't filming, I'd be listening to this right now in just a dark room. I need this song injected into my body. Look, dark I don't expect it to be too different either, because there's not a lot to it. It's a very simple song, but it's so good. You can hear it in the silence, silence. You, best friend, and you knew what it was. He is in love. 
I don't know what it is about that lyric in particular, but it gets my ass every time. It's so, like, I have chills. It's so good. Why they lost their minds and fought the war. That's a good adjustment, too. Can hear it in the silence. And it means silent. Genius. You're in love. It's so good. Like, no words. And then that goes into new romantics. That's why I was like, Miss Wonderland, you're dust. Who are you compared to these legends? I literally feel like I'm about to throw up. This is great. Okay, okay, we're good. We're safe. New romantics. Mark safe. I know I keep saying like reputation coded. I can build a castle with all the bricks they threw at me. That is such a devastating lyric, but you don't even really catch it at first because it's just such a like fun, upbeat song. There is a hopefulness to it, but I hear that lyric and I'm like, Taylor, because I know what came after. These bricks that you think are bricks, bitch, they're stones, they're pebbles. I'm so sorry that you have to go through that. Crazy. No, but this song is so fun. I kind of don't understand why this song didn't make the actual album. Like if this was track five, could you imagine what we could have had? Oh my God. Face, but I'm about to play my ace. <sighs> Period. It's so the vocals, it's insane to see the growth since 1989. That's wild. I will say that uh, is not hitting. People in life are free. Oh my God. Okay, we are going into the Volt track. So I haven't even talked about these yet. If you skipped the entire video to get to here, hi, you've missed out on a lot. I will say slut, obviously I'm intrigued. She is the perfect candidate to talk about slut shaming and the way that it has impacted the industry, women specifically. Honestly, I'm really curious about all of them. I don't think besides slut, there's one I'm like really, super intrigued by because I'm very invested in what all of them have to talk about. Again, if you missed it, I was like re-entering the Taylor fandom. I was in the 1D fandom and when they started dating. If you were online during that time, you deserve to be compensated. But anyway, slut, let's get into it. I'm the biggest slut. Oh, what the f Flamingo pink. What? Oh, I need these lyrics. This is so different than what I thought it'd be. I thought we were gonna have an upbeat little moment. Period. This is so sexy for 1989 Taylor. What the f? Her, look good. Oh. No! I did not know! No! If they call me a slut, you know, it might be worth it for once. This man, this incredible man, bomb dick, great guy. So you know what? If I'm a slut, give me a scarlet, scarlet A to wear. I don't care. Just know though, I'm in a great place and you're miserable and upset. Wow. Okay, this is going so different than I thought it would be. <laughs> Wait, this is kind of sad. I thought it was gonna be like, yeah, I'm a slut and there's a video, right? A video that gets released and it's Taylor just like, eh, 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 the entire time. No. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> Let me readjust my entire brain right now. This is crazy. Everyone wants him, that was my crime. Shut the f right. up because that's true. That was like, this is Harry. I'm sorry. I know we speculation that this is this is Harold. Okay, right? Like, this is you, bud. The internal misogyny really jumped out when Harry was dating Taylor specifically. Anytime he dated a, a woman, <laughs> I have to say woman because they were usually older. <laughs> he was a baby. But anytime he dated anyone, it was just this whole 
spectacle. And I'm sure that's something that they both could relate on, that their dating lives were so publicized. And with him, it was like, he only dates older women and he does date a lot, but he didn't get shamed for it the way that Taylor definitely did and still kind of does. All the posts about her and Travis, I still see comments un underneath it being like, oh, like what boyfriend number is this? And I'm like, if she did not just get out of a like seven year relationship, what are you talking about? And how many people have you dated? Not saying that that is a way to judge someone or a character, but if you have dated more than one person your entire life, maybe don't throw stones at glass houses. Maybe don't call the pot black when you are a black kettle. That's crazy that she was thinking this. Thank you. Thank you. That's crazy. Since she was a teenager and people still have that mindset and it's like what the hell is wrong with you okay i really went into this song being like we're gonna have a great time and now i'm sad because it just it really does take me back to that time and crazy. Don't get me wrong, like we all have to learn, we all have to grow, make mistakes, whatever, but it's the people who are still doing it. It's like, it's it's 2023. Grow up. It wasn't okay then. It's definitely not okay now. All right, so that kind of makes me scared for the rest of the songs, because now I'm thinking the rest are sad. Oh god. I've known it from the very start. <laughs> What the f was that? That lower register. Taylor! I don't hear a thing you're saying because I. Wow. Okay, let me focus. Say, don't go beyond what you have to twist the knife. Walk away and leave me bleeding, bleeding. I don't know how I feel about this one. I like this bar, but I'm hearing this like, I see why I was left off the album. Like I said, with 1989, there are so many strong hits and strong contenders that if it doesn't meet that energy, I don't know though, this could grow though. I like the melody a lot, don't but because it's with this, project i'm like very conflicted this part of the chorus really feels 1989 the rest almost feels speak nowy i don't know what it is about this song i have very conflicting emotions doesn't have the je ne sais quoi <laughs> that the other ones have. But you won't. Ooh, I like this song. Won't. So I'm like, there's elements of this song that I like and there's elements that I don't. So this is what I'm gonna have to sit on and hope that it grows on me. <sighs> I don't know, now I'm really nervous about the rest of these vault tracks. This is the one that first judge, I was like, oh, it's gonna be sad, but this is telling me otherwise. Why is she confusing me so much? You part the crowd like the Red Sea, don't even get me started. <laughs> Period. Imagine being that girl. Now that we don't talk. This lower register is insane. What the f? You grew your hair long, you got new icons. Oh, that sucks. As Harry. I cannot be your friend, so I pay the price of a wedding. No! And what it costs. There's too much that couldn't be platonic. That's just crazy with context of like seeing them at the Grammys and like supporting each other. Wait, this is almost over. Wow, that was so short, but like impactful. That's what you want with a short track where it's like, 
Eh, it just hits you where it needs to hit you. I see why it wasn't on the original album because where would you place it in the like whole narrative of the project? But that's interesting. I think that one's my favorite so far. I let it slide like a hose on a slippery plastic summer. Oh. The pen. The pen. The pen. Come here to make friends. We were born to be suburban legends. When oh, interesting. Okay. You kiss me in a way that's gonna screw me up forever. Class reunion. Walking in with you. This is. So interesting. This is one of those very story-based songs with Taylor where I don't really want to say much. I just want to listen to the story and just really get into it and really get immersed in this world that she is creating because that is something that is very strong with her lyrics is, I don't know. I, I think we saw a lot of it obviously with Folklore with Evermore. We had not seen it in any other pop record. We saw a little bit of it in Midnight's, I will say, but there's something about old Taylor that really is this story-based persona, this story-based writer that when I get a song like this, it's just like, it's almost like crack. That's how it felt listening to Timeless for Speak Now. It's just like, oh my God, take me back. They just feel so different though from 1989. That's why I'm like, I'm confused when these were written. Like, were they written before 1989 really became the project that it was? Are these like the songs that are transitional between um, Red and now? Or 1989? You know? Hmm. It's down your block, I broke my own heart because you were too polite to do it. Wait. What was the point of that? <laughs> This whole song had its own little energy and then she just said, boom. Damn, okay, ouch. Ah, cool, sick, awesome. I have to be honest, I'm not super impressed with these vault tracks. I feel bad saying that, especially because she was so excited, I think saying that these were her favorite ones that she's made. They just really don't feel 1989. I hope I'm not the only one feeling this way. There's elements of them where I'm like, oh, I can see where possibly, Am I trying to justify them too much? I don't know. Ooh. This reminds me of Midnight's, if anything. This reminds me of Labyrinth. No? I slept all alone. Oh, I'm intrigued. I'm in I'm invested. You dream of my mouth before it called you a lying traitor. You search in I like this one. Mm-hmm. Was it over then? And is it over now? This one's interesting. I can see this actually being a 1989 track with like different production. Blue dress on a bow. Ah! <laughs> that photo, I need to just print it out and frame it. There's something so sadistic about that photo. Oh, so Lord, I about jumping up a very tall some things just you search in every model's bed for something pretty baby she kind of got in there oh okay i think this was my favorite it has that energy size and i spurt size oh lord i think about jumping This is the best one, for sure. Best one for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking all of them were gonna be like. I don't know, the vault tracks for each re-recording have kind of been like hit and miss for me personally. I'm really holding out for reputation though. But maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This one, it, it, she was, there was a couple cute moments, but like overall, it's just like, yeah, I see why they weren't on the project. <laughs> Except, is it over now? I could actually see that with like different production. I can totally actually see that on the project, even as a deluxe track. I do 
love that she owns it now. For the most part, it's the same. Yeah, there's little things here and there, but we'll get over it. We'll get used to it. It's really not that big of a deal. Here are my two separate rankings. I am gonna do the Volt tracks different than the actual track list just because they're new. I I don't know about them. <laughs> I kind of don't want them next to some of these other songs. <laughs> but I don't know. This is kind of like, you know, my favorites based on the re-recordings. Some of them probably have moved. This is probably nothing really surprising if you have followed my Taylor videos for a while now. But anyway, that's it for this video. It's probably a long one. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, see you for rep. Love you. Kisses. Take care of yourself. I need to go lie down. All right, bye. <laughs>